Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and in this video we are going to learn how to perform calculations that will help us to start making uh, different acidic and basic solutions. So we're going to figure out how to start making acidic and basic solutions of different pH values. So let's just start in on our very first example and see what's going on. In this first example it says to Calculate the pH of a solution containing 0.856 grams of hydrochloric acid dissolved into 136 milliliters of water. So if we take a look, we have a beaker of water here, and this beaker uh, contains 136 milliliters of H2O. What we're going to do with this beaker is we are going to add 0.856 grams of HCl to this beaker right here and what we're asked to figure out is the pH of this solution now so how do we figure this out well we have to figure out first of all the number of moles that we dissolved in here and then what we can do is figure out the molarity of our solution so in step two, we are going to figure out the molarity of our solution here. And then in our third and final step, what we'll have to do is use this little diagram right here to calculate the pH of our solution. And to get the pH of our solution, we'll simply take the negative log of our hydrogen ion concentration. So let's keep in mind that when we dissolve this in water, hydrochloric acid is a strong acid and it's going to dissociate completely. And if it dissociates completely, then we're going to be able to figure out the concentration of just hydrogen ions and then we can plug it into here. But let's first figure out how many moles we're dealing with. So in step one, it looks like we have 0 0.856 grams of HCl. So we have 0 0.856 grams of HCl. We want to figure out how many moles we have. We know one mole of HCl is going to be 36.46 grams of HCl. And so when we put this in our calculator, 0.856 divided by 36.46, we're going to end up with 0 0.0. 235 0.0235 moles of HCl. So this is how many moles of HCl we dissolved in this water. In our second step, what we are going to do is we are now going to figure out the molarity of our HCl. If we do that, because this dissociates completely, we'll be able to figure out the molarity of our H plus concentration. So to get the molarity here, we're now going to take the number of moles of HCl we dissolved in this solution, 0 0.0235. We're going to divide it by the liters of our solution. So it says we have 136 milliliters. To convert this to liters, we divide by 1,000 or simply, simply slide that decimal to the left three times. And we'll end up with 0 0.136 liters. And so now we're going to put this in our calculator, 0 0.0235 divided by 0 0.136. And we end up with a molarity of 0 0.173. And so this here is not our final answer, but this is going to equal the hydrogen ion concentration in this solution right here. So the third and final step, what we can now do in our third step here is figure out our pH. To get the pH, if we take a look, if we know the hydrogen ion concentration, which we now do, and we're trying to figure out the pH, we have to take the negative log of our H plus concentration. So the negative log of whatever our H plus concentration is and so we'll take the negative log 
of 0 0.173. And we'll put this in our calculator, take the negative log of 0 0.173, and we are going to end up with a pH of 0 0.762. So the pH of this solution, made by dissolving 0.856 grams of HCl in 136 milliliters of H2O, is going to be 0 0.762. Let's take a look at another example. In this second example, it says how many grams of perchloric acid are dissolved into 8.85 liters of water if the pH of the solution is 3.58. So we have a beaker of water here and what we know is that we have 8.85 liters of water in this beaker. What we also know is that we are going to add a certain number of grams of perchloric acid, which is a strong acid, which means this will dissociate completely when you put it into this beaker of water right here. What we lastly know is that the pH of this solution is equal to 3.58. So what we have to figure out is the number of grams of this stuff right here is in this 8.85 liters of water if the pH of it is 3.58. So we need to break this up into several steps. In our first step, what we're going to do is we are going to find the H plus concentration of our solution. Once we find the H plus concentration of our solution, what we can do is then plug that into our molarity formula. Molarity equals moles per liter. So once we find this, we already know what this is from our problem right here. We can solve for the number of moles of HClO4. And then in our third and final step, what we're going to have to do is we are going to have to convert the number of moles that we figured out in step two and convert it to grams by simply multiplying by the molar mass of HClO4. So let's start off with step number one. In step number one, we need to find the H plus concentration of our solution. So if we know the pH of our solution, which we do, we can easily find the hydrogen ion concentration by simply taking 10 to the negative pH. So, to get our H plus concentration here, we are going to take 10 to the negative pH or 10 to the negative 3.58. And when we put this in our calculator, we are going to end up with 2.63 times 10 to the negative 4. 2.63 times 10 to the negative 4 moles per liter. And this is going to be our hydrogen ion concentration. Now we know this is a strong acid and so when we put this in water here it's going to dissociate completely. And so we're going to end up with 2.63 times 10 to the negative 4 moles per liter of H plus ions that are in this solution right now. So our hydrogen ion concentration of this solution is going to be 2.63 times 10 to the negative fourth moles per liter. What we can now do is use our molarity formula in step two. We know that molarity equals moles of dissolved particles divided by liters of solution. We now know the number of I'm sorry, we now know the concentration, we now know the molarity, we figured that in step one. We also know the liters, it's given to us in the problem. We are going to figure out how many moles of HClO4 we have. So let's go ahead and do that. We need to multiply by L, multiply by L on this side. This will now cancel. So, to get the number of moles of HClO4, we simply take the liters of our solution 
times our molarity of the solution. And so if we take a look, we end up with 8.85 liters times our molarity. Our molarity here, if we take a look, is 2.63 times 10 to the negative 4. And we're going to end up with 0 0.00233 moles of HClO4. So this is not our final answer. The very last thing that we have to do now is we now have to convert the moles that we just figured out to grams. So we're running out of room, but we'll try this right here. First, we have to figure out what our molar mass of HClO4 is. So if we take a look, we are starting off with 0 0.00233 moles of HClO4. And we know that one mole, I'm sorry, we know that one mole of HClO4 is how many grams? Well, we have to look in our periodic table to figure this out. 100.46. So, how did we get that 4 times 16 plus 35.45 plus 1.01 from our periodic table? And so now we'll take this 0 0.00233 times 100.46. And we're going to end up with 0.234. We'll put our final answer down here. 0.2. 3,4 grams of HClO4. So there we go. How many grams of HClO4 are you going to have to add to this uh, solution here to make 8.85 uh, 8 liters of the solution with a pH of 3.58? It looks like we're going to have to add 0 0.234 grams. Let's take a look at one final example. In this final example, it says, what is the hydrogen ion concentration in a solution prepared by dissolving 237 grams of sodium hydroxide in 2.69 liters of water? So if you take a look, we have 2.69 liters of H2O here. And what we're going to do is we are going to take 237 grams of NaOH. And we're going to dissolve it in here. And so what the question is asking for, what the question says is, what is the hydrogen ion concentration? So we're trying to figure out the hydrogen ion concentration of this solution. So how are we going to tackle this problem? Well, if we can somehow figure out the hydroxide ion concentration of this solution, we can then simply do this step right here and figure out the H plus concentration of our solution. So how are we going to figure out the hydroxide ion concentration? Well, we know sodium hydroxide is a strong base. And what this means is that it's going to dissociate completely when we put it in this water right here. And so if we can somehow figure out the molarity of the OH minus ions that are floating around in this solution, then we can solve this little problem here. So in our first step here, what we are going to do is we are going to use the molarity formula to figure out the molarity of hydroxide ions that are in this solution right here. In our second step, what we are going to do is we are going to do this right here. We are going to convert the OH minus concentration that we figured out in step one to our hydrogen ion concentration. 
And so let's start off with the first step here. In our first step, we know that the molarity of those hydroxide ions that are in this water right here is going to be equal to the number of moles divided by the liters of the solution. So, if you take a look, we don't know the number of moles of NaOH, we know the number of grams. So what we're gonna first have to do is convert the grams of NaOH to moles. So we have 237 grams of NaOH. We know that one mole of NaOH is from our periodic table of elements. We know that sodium is 22.99. We know that oxygen is 16.00 and we know that hydrogen is 1.01 .01. and when we add that all together we get 40.00 grams of NaOH. So we're going to take 237 divided by 40 and we end up with 5.925. or 5.93 moles of NaOH. So we can now plug that in up here. We have 5.93 moles of NaOH. And we're gonna divide this by the liters of our solution. It tells us is 2.69. So when we take 5.93 divided by 2.69, we end up with 2.20 molar. So here's the concentration of our OH minus ions. Right, this is going to be the concentration of our hydroxide ions, right? So we'll make a little note of that. This is the concentration of OH minus. And so now, what we need to do now is now that we know this, we need to figure out the hydrogen ion concentration. So let's go ahead and do that. We know that the H plus concentration times the OH minus concentration of an aqueous solution is always going to equal 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. And we learned that in an earlier video. If we're asked to figure out the H plus concentration, well, we need to divide both sides by the OH minus concentration. That now cancels. And so to get our H plus concentration, we simply take 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th and we divide it by our OH minus concentration. Our OH minus concentration is right here, 2.20. And some people will add the molar or capital M to this. Some people leave it off. It's not too big of a deal. And so if we take a look now, we take 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th and we're going to divide this by 2.20. And we're going to end up with 4.55 times 10 to the negative 15th moles per liter as our H plus concentration. So there we go. That's how we're going to do this little problem. If you like what you see, go ahead and click the little bomb in the bottom right hand corner. That's going to subscribe to my channel and feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comment section down below. And I hope you guys found this helpful.